Hi, this is Robin from Spokane, Washington. You're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on TJV with Diesel Weasel. Diesel. Good morning, Balgoni Baloney. How are you doing today? Hey, Diesel, you coming with? We're going this way. No, that way's all asphalt, man. Let's go to the grass. Yeah, that's an idea. Let's go to the grass. Come on. That guy's got a very nice Peterbilt. Very nice. I like my Kenworth better. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> nice Peterbilt, though. Yes. Oh, Diesel, look, a bird. Oh, he used to chase him. It's getting old now. We got old blue running, getting her warmed up a little bit, getting the juices flowing. We're gonna be leaving right away. We gotta bring back this trailer into Winnipeg, and we're doing it all over again tomorrow. We're gonna pick up another trailer just like it with a pretty much identical load. Go right back to Swift Current, do it all over again. It's actually a pretty good deal for me. Works out just fine. I just like to have my my truck washed at some point. Busy, 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 right? We'll have a long weekend this weekend. This coming weekend is Canada Day weekend. We're celebrating Canada. I think Canada is now, what, 152 years old? 153 years old, something like that. We're gonna uh, have some celebrations. We have our friend Adam from The Wandering Bearded Idiot here on YouTube. We're gonna have him over. We'll do some collaborations on the weekend so you guys can go check out his channel. He's just getting started and he's doing a pretty good job. He's doing actually a very good job. He's doing a, a much better job than I did when I first started vlogging. He's doing a daily vlog as well. You guys should go check him out. The Wandering Bearded Idiot. He's our good friend Adam. He's also from Southern Manitoba. Right, Diesel? Yes, and he's super cool. And he's got a super cool beard. He sure does. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful luscious beard. So you're ready to go back, Diesel? I really like those mud flap hangers too. Really like them on the back of the truck there. I don't understand why those don't come standard on all trucks. Way better. And it's not that hard of an upgrade. But I guess if everybody had them, they wouldn't be as special. Diesel, you ready to go? We might even make it home tonight. I have my doubts. Depends when Britt has to be up in the morning because we'll be home a little late and then I've got to rush back into Winnipeg. So I might just sleep in the truck tonight just so I can get this next run, like run done, get get the run done so that I can come home. Uh, like I said, it's Canada Day weekend. I'm taking uh, a bit of an extra long weekend off. We got Friday off, we got Monday off and part of Tuesday. Uh, Monday is an IVF appointment that we'll talk to you about more this weekend and Friday is obviously celebrations and the weekend is the weekend. Maybe we'll go do some target shooting or something. My dad wants to go shooting. I'd love to go and do that with him. We'll see what the weekend brings. What do you think, Diesel? Should we go play with our boomsticks? I love the boomsticks. They're cleaning the lot here today. Kicking up a lot of dust. I was parked beside a, a Jade driver uh, this morning. And if you know Jade Transport in uh, Winnipeg, they have really nice trucks, like show quality trucks. The whole fleet for the most part. Beautiful trucks and they, they keep them just mm, clean, clean. Especially the driver that was parked beside me. I forget what unit number he was, but uh, anyways, I was talking to him this morning and a great guy, a great guy. And uh, he was talking about, yeah, they're kicking up all this dust. He just polished his truck and then they start cleaning the yard. Yeah, it's gotta get done, but he left. He's like, I'm out of here. I can't stand all this dust. I get it, I get it. My truck is a little dirty already and uh, I had to get a few things done. 
but it is now time to point our nose east back home. Let's go. I'm actually gonna grab fuel here in Balgoni so that I don't have to fuel up tomorrow morning. I can just hook up and go. They also have better fuel prices here, I think, as far as I know. Well, I'm gonna wait for that guy because I'm too nice. I'm too nice. I should have just gone, but I wanna do the e-log crawl over to the pumps over there. Here we go. Never seen that company before. Must be new. <coughs> There's a pothole here, isn't there? Let's go real slow. Easy. You know, while they're cleaning this lot, they could fix these potholes too. I'm sure no one would complain about that if they did that. Looks good though after they sweep it, eh? Does make a difference. This is what we call the e-log crawl. You don't want to make the e-log upset, so you just crawl across the parking lot. We haul a lot of trailers like this too. I think we pick them up in Indiana, somewhere down there in the US, we bring them up here. You gotta be very careful with them. He looks like he chained them down pretty good, but uh, they damage very easy and they're very light. The wind will just blow them right off and they'll shift. They'll shift on you if you're not careful. They're shifty creatures. All right, there we go. And the pumps. Oh, a little further forward. There we go. Oakley dokley. Let's go fuel her up and go home. Woo! I always feel like I just have so much to do all the time. That's a good thing though, right? Keep yourself busy. It's just time goes by so fast when you're busy. But well, that's why we booked some extra time off this weekend. And uh, we're planning on taking some holidays later on this year yet. Uh, gotta work that out. There's a truck show coming up in Hope, British Columbia in September. I'm just waiting for more info on it. I'm hoping to be there. Hope is just, uh, it's near Vancouver, sort of. It's on the other side of the lower mainland. It's just as you come down into the, uh, into the lower mainland out of the mountains. There's a guy there, you know, you guys know Chase Barber from Edison Motors. He's building that uh, hybrid electric truck. And I think he was on Highway Through Hell, the show. I don't know him personally, but I follow him on social media and he's setting up a truck show on September 10th and 11th in Hope, British Columbia. And nothing is for sure yet, but uh, I am hoping to be able to be there for that. At the roundabout, take the second exit. And Britt will be coming with me, so it'll be a little uh, family vacation. We'll probably take our big guys with us, and the little guys will go to her mom's. We haven't finalized anything yet. We've just talked about it and agreed that yes, we want to do it. Yes, we want to be there. But it's not a for sure thing yet. We'll talk about it this weekend. If any of you are in the British Columbia region, hey, maybe you can come out and hang out with us. Come and say hello. Until then, we're just gonna keep on keeping on. Work as much as we can. But we really do need a vacation after all of the the IVF procedures that Britt has been through and uh, everything else we've gone through. We really need a vacation, so we're hoping to make that uh, a little getaway for us. We'll see. Back on the highway, though. Trans Canada eastbound, eastbound and down. Hey, we can actually sing the song this time, right, Diesel? Yeah, just don't sing, man. Don't sing. Quingy. Quingy, man. I'm gonna sing anyway. He's bound and down. Right, Diesel? That's the only line you know. Pretty much.
Pretty much, yeah, pretty much. Here in Mooseman, Saskatchewan. Meeting up with somebody. Who's that stranger in that truck? I got lost. <laughs> I figured I'd try and find somebody. Eh? Hey, how's it going, everybody? Different to see you in this truck. It is. It feels different, too. It not, never feel quite at home in here, eh? No. <laughs> That's my dad, if you didn't know. The whole re the reason I'm in this whole trucking mess, he uh, his truck is uh, being fixed, and he's jumped into a company truck for now. It's an automatic, and he's an old school trucker, so it's he's having a hard time getting used to it. <laughs> so you're saying how much you love the automatic transmission? I was just telling him. I'm so in love with it, I could <laughs> leave it on the field somewhere, you know? Yeah. Give it to the farmers. Give it to the farmers. Oh, they don't want it. I don't think oh, they no, want they it. They probably don't. No, no, don't get it. Don't take it. So he had some engine problems in his truck, and he has to get it fixed. Now he's getting it painted. Yeah, one step at a time. I got the hood just about ready for painting. I'm going to try and do it myself. Now, I don't know if that's a mistake or not. Oh, we'll find out. <laughs> I try all kinds. I, I'm a man with all kinds of trades, you know, so I'll try almost anything, right? Yeah, well, you got the tools for it. You got I everything. Got tools. Yeah, I, I bought the spray painter, and I just got to get the paint, decide on exactly what paint I want, <laughs> what the quality. And I, I know a guy that is an expert at it, and I think he's going to give me a little bit of a start of that at it. Okay. But yeah, we just happened. He's going west, I'm going east. And he just messaged, said that uh, he'd be here around this time. Figured, huh, I gotta stop for food anyway. I said, I'll get you a coffee to go. Okay, sure. I won't say no to Timmy's. <laughs> Let's go, get some coffee. Always a nice little surprise to meet up with dad on the road. Oh, that one over there, that's dad, he's headed out. Let's follow him. Got my coffee, got some, well, lunch for me, supper for everyone else, I guess. My schedule is always a little different than everybody else. Oh well, yeah, dad really misses his truck, I can tell, but uh, there's a bunch of work that needed to get done to it. It's always very expensive, but in the meantime, to keep him running, uh, he jumped into company truck. I was saying before. They are nice trucks. It's just like the Peterbilt that uh, that I drove. Very similar. He started in Rothsay, Minnesota this morning. So he's not quite going to make it to Saskatoon.
South RTE 59 South. What? In one kilometer, take the entrance to the ride on RTE 20 North RTE 20 North Highway 59 South RTE 59 South and then keep to the right in 420 meters. Say what? In 600 meters, take the entrance to the ride on RTE 20 North RTE 20 North Highway 59 South RTE 59 South and then keep to the right in 420 meters. Wow. I don't even know what to do with that, Karen. That was impressive. I'm not even mad. I'm impressed. What kind of road is that? You could just say turn right. Keep to the right on Highway 59 South RTE 59 South. 59 South RTE 59 South. Oh, I get it. You're going through the, the English and the French. You can just pick one. I speak English. You don't have to do the French one to me. But it's, I guess it's kind of nice. Inclusive, right? We are an English and a French country. Predominantly English, I'm just gonna say that, but legally, we're equally English and French. Those are our two official languages. And in this part of Manitoba, there's actually quite a bit of French population, but they all speak English. And that's what I mean by English is the dominant language. Continue on this road for seven kilometers. Because all of the French speakers in this country, in this area, and across the country for the most part, speak English. But very few English speakers speak French. So you can get by in Canada knowing only English. You can't get by knowing only French. We're here in a familiar yard. Just backing into a spot in the back corner here. Gotta take this trailer with me tomorrow again for my next load. But instead of like hoping for a spot at the truck stop tonight, I figure, huh, why not just come park here? Make a turn if possible. You know what, I'm gonna move over one. Just a little bit. park here for the night. I've got a shower here and everything, so why go and you know fight for a spot at Flying J? Because that's almost what you gotta do. Fight for a spot. <laughs> all this whining I hear back here. Do you recognize where we are? We're gonna sleep here tonight, buddy. No time to go home tonight. No, I shouldn't even have said that word. <laughs> We're gonna go do some more trucking tomorrow. Wanna go on another trip? Yeah, that's a fun word too, eh? Yeah, we're going on another trip. Swift current and back, okay? One more night after this. All right, you wanna come outside? Yeah, you wanna come rip around? Let's do it. Oh. Pretty quiet here in the middle of the night. Uh, this is where we're gonna spend the night. Okay, let's get his steps out here. Let's let him rip around a bit. It's been a long day. I haven't vlogged much today, but just cruising across the prairies. There you go, bud. Come on, man. 
Give her some fun. Have fun. I have a video rendering for you in the back, and it's almost done. Or is it uploading? Yeah, I have a video uploading, sorry. It's almost done, that's why I left it idling for a few minutes. It should be done in about five minutes. I'm gonna give the turbo time to cool down anyways. They say that's a good thing. Diesel. Diesel. He must be busy. There he is. Jeez, yo. You know this place? This is practically where you grew up, eh? So I got Diesel. Uh, for those of you new people, Diesel, uh, I got him when he was 10 weeks old uh, in 2011. So in August of this year, he's going to be 11 years old and will have been with me for 11 years. He's been to uh, almost every continental U.S. state. He's been to every province of Canada and uh, all territories except Nunavut. Nunavut's the only territory of Canada I haven't been to in the truck. And Diesel's been with me to all of them, including Newfoundland and Prince Edward Island. We've been everywhere. Been to British Columbia. I have not been to Vancouver Island in the truck, but I did go there as a kid. Uh, I, I do believe so. I, don't, I remember going over the ferry there anyways. Diesel's back here. This is his uh, long grass that he likes to go sniffing through. Diesel? be there somewhere diesel there he is i just want to know where you are man that's all i'm a paranoid dog parent what so thanks for uh hanging out with me today everybody appreciate it we're gonna do the exact same run again starting tomorrow uh pick up another uh long piece i'll be 85 feet again uh, i've got my blanket permits all lined up oh they're, they, they've been there the whole time that's why they're blanket permits they're annual permits that we just carry with us all the time uh, they're good up to 98 feet or 30 meters, so I'll be well underneath that. It's going to be fun. We're going to go back out to Swift Current and uh, then come back for the long, extra long weekend. Looking forward to it. Right, Diesel? Canada Day. We'll see some fireworks and stuff. It's going to be fun. Take care, everyone, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.